Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is another grocery haul for a family of five including our evening meals as part of the meal plan as well. So if you would like to see what I bought for the week ahead then keep watching. <laughs> So as per the recent CMA guidelines, before I start this haul, I am required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco recently. However, all of our groceries every week are always paid for with our own money and there is no bias or anything there. And now I'm gonna get on with the rest of the haul. Now I thought I would tell you quickly at the start of this one. This one's a little bit healthier. If you followed me for any length of time, you might know that I did Slimming World. I lost three stone the first time around and then I lost a stone after having Stanley. And I'm on the cusp at the moment whether or not like I wanna join again or like just try healthy eating for a bit because I could still do with losing a little bit of weight to be back where I feel like best, if that makes sense. So the recipes in this are a little bit healthier, which might be useful to some of you, but either way, it's not like a Slimming World meal plan or anything like that. There's just some like healthier treats. So I thought I would point that out before I started because I'm imagining that if any of you are following the Slimming World, you'll probably notice a few things that like are staples or you've eaten before, that kind of thing. But anyway, let me show you what I've got because I'm rambling again. So I got quite a lot this week, so we've got more over here this time. Um, I've got some cherries and berries, squash, sugar-free, and the orange and lemon and pineapple one as well here. I've got some 30% reduced fat extra mature cheese. I really, really love mature cheese. I always get the strongest one that I can get. I've got some reduced fat salad cheese, which is basically feta. Got the fromage tray that we always get for the kids. I've got some Greek style yogurt here and then these, which I absolutely love. Um, I've had these so many times now, but there's a fat free onion and chive cottage cheese. And then this is my favorite one, the fat free sweet chili cottage cheese. So, so good. So I'm gonna have them with like salads and that kind of thing. And then I've got another spray oil here because I was running low and I cook with this anyway. I have some spaghetti hoops. They were only something like, 13p maybe so they're for like the kids or like as a quick lunch or something like that um we have some sweet pickled silver skin onions here we've got two of the red kidney beans in chili sauce and they are such a handy thing to have in the cupboard because it helps you make a chili like so much more quickly because there's already a little bit of spice going on i've got two tins of chopped tomatoes and then i've got a four pack of these tuna chunks which are in spring water Two tin sweet corn. I feel like we buy sweet corn every week. My kids absolutely love it. I've got a massive pack of spaghetti. And then these, we've not had these in ages, but Bill absolutely loves them. And I'm pretty sure that the others will too with their hot dog pizzas. And these are for a treat on Friday night and they just go down so well. So I know he'll be really excited when I get these out tomorrow night. Then over here is like bread and snacks and that kind of thing so i've got the usual coke zero i've got a pack of monsticles pickled onion flavor there's 10 in there just because the kids are really into like savory nibbles at the moment and i thought i would try something different and these are really really cheap as well then i have a king's mill no crust whole meal because for those of you that do do some in world you can have three uh, slices of these as your hex b for anyone that doesn't know what i'm talking about just ignore me um and then i've got a white toasty as well for like the kids and toast and that kind of thing because that's what they like the best i've got some humzingers 10 strawberry fruit sticks which i thought that they were quite like i've got some of the yogurt coated strawberry bites and then some of these fruity bakes I know that these still have sugars in, but they kind of got like natural sugars and are a little bit better than just giving them like sweets and chocolates. So that's why I get them. And then alternatively, we've got like fruit as well as snacks. Got some Meridian peanut bars. These were on offer for two pounds, which I think is like maybe a third off. And I got two packs of those because Mark absolutely loves them. And then I've got two of these, which are great for making chilies and spag bowl. It's frozen, it's pound for each of them. And it's a classic vegetable mix. And it's basically celery, carrot and onion chopped up really small and you can use these as a base for loads of different things and i just love getting them in and sticking them in the freezer then over here is everything else and as you can see i've got a lot of veg but i'm going to start with the meat so first up i've got two packs of the british lean beef statements five percent fat i always choose five percent fat because it's just better for you i've got a packet of lamb leg steaks here and then i've got some bacon medallions i have some honey roast ham and then i have these which are two packs here of the honey roast ham chunks 
these are just great in sandwiches, in salads. They're great if you're going to do like a special fried rice dish. They're just so handy to have in the fridge. Even as like a snack, they're just, I absolutely love them. And then I saw these, which I've never ever seen before. They're you say potato, we say quick and easy, fresh cut chips. And I got two of them as part of the, like there was like buy three, get one free or something three for two that's what i'm trying to say so i've got two of these and they're basically already pre-cut into chip shapes and you can put them in like your oven your air fryer you can deep fry them if you want to i'm going to probably put them in my air fryer or oven i'm not decided yet and then as the other thing that i got with the three for two i got these for the kids which are sweet potato smileys i just thought i would give them a go and see if they were nice and if they liked them they might have them with the pizzas tomorrow with some like salad then I also got some spring greens um, from the Redmo Farms range. They're really affordable, this. And I quite enjoy this brand a lot. Then I have an aubergine, two cucumbers, a butternut squash, some chestnut mushrooms, two heads of broccoli, and how much were they? £1.59 for two, and they are absolutely massive. I've got some Nightingale Farms peppers, I've got mint, I've got coriander, and then I have a melon, because I absolutely love this, and I've got out the habit of eating it, and it's a nice sweet snack. I've got some bananas back here, 70p for six. I've got some sweet apples, I've got a large head of garlic because we go through one of those every week without fail. I've got some salad tomatoes, some jacket potatoes which were just 49p at the moment, some Mary's Piper potatoes as well. I've got two packs of strawberries, raspberries and then also some blueberries as well and then I've got two heads of the what is it round lettuce two of those and then i've got some of these these were on offer sweet and fiery baby beetroot and they jazz up a salad like nobody's business so i'm looking forward to having them and then finally i got a pack of wild rocket so that is everything I'm going to tell you the meal plan now. So let's get on with this meal plan, shall we? So on Friday, I'm going to do homemade doner kebab and chips with salad. This is a Slimming World recipe, actually, that I've had before. And like, it doesn't really matter that it's Slimming World because it's well fit. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to have that. And I think it will like entice us away from having like a takeaway. And then the kids are going to eat separately from us because of Bill's Jiu Jitsu. I say this every week, but I'm just telling you in case you're new. Um, basically, they eat separately from us on a Friday because we don't have time to eat together as a family. So they're going to have those hot dog pizzas with some of the sweet potato smileys and then some veg like salad -y bits on the side, which I know that they will love. It will go down so well. On Saturday, I'm going to do a veggie chili with rice. So I'm going to roast the butternut squash that I've bought and pack lots of veg in just because a veg is usually a lot cheaper than buying like extra meat anyway and it's really really good for you. And I just thought it would be a nice like meat free alternative and like it's nice to sort of cut back on meat, isn't it? I find it is anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to have rice with that and a bit of cheese and some like low fat yogurt if it's quite spicy. On Sunday, as it's Mother's Day, bless my mum. She's actually hosting a big get together for the whole family. And we're going to hers on Sunday. So there'll be lots of lovely food there. I know that she's doing like a lasagna and lots of salad and garlic bread and like honey roasted sausages and cheese and oh my god it's going to be amazing so that's what we're having there and bless her like it's her mother's day too but she's spoiling all of us as well what day's next monday i'm going to do a spaghetti bolognese i'll leave the link to the recipe that i use down below for you it's my own recipe and i think it tastes very nice on tuesday we're going to have baked potatoes and salad with whatever topping that everybody fancies so i've got like tuna and i can use tuna and sweet corn with mayo we've got beans we've got cheese I can do like something with ham if they want, like mix things up a little bit. Um, it goes down really well, the baked potatoes in this house. Like the kids really like them and it's quite like an easy and quick and cheap meal to do as well. Then on Wednesday, I'm going to do lamb leg steaks and veg with couscous and a minty yogurt sauce. I don't have a recipe for this. It's more like an idea in my head. I really fancied having some lamb, so... That's what we're going to do. And then on Thursday, I'm going to do feta, roast ham, and spring green omelettes with salad, which will be nice and filling because there's loads of protein in there, but like light at the same time as well. So that is the plan for the week ahead. And fingers crossed, it just helps me feel a bit better and gets rid of like the carb and chocolate bloat that I've got at the moment. And yeah, I hope it helps you as well. So have a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Obviously, I will leave that down to you, but I would love to have you here. And yeah. See you next time. Bye.
Bye.